Ok. 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 So, alright. So, tell us like a bit about you then. Uh, I'm a Muslim. You're, yeah, ok. So, uh, why? So, uh, my mum and dad raised me, innit? To be a Muslim. Alright. Have you ever read the Bible? No. No, okay. So in Jesus said that um, a man has to be born again. Do you know what that means? All right. Well, there there's lots and lots of different religions and everything. Yeah, I know, I know. There's better, yeah, there's a lot of religions. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Well, I'm gonna tell you they're all rubbish. They're all rubbish. Yeah. Yeah. When we say that. Well, because Jesus said you have to be born again. So what? Wait, wait. See, you're Christian, yeah? Yeah. You believe in like the, the, the like the Trinity. Yeah. How, how come do you believe in the Trinity? If okay, so let me explain what being born again means, and then you can ask me questions. All right. So being born again is supernatural. It's a work of God, and it takes place in your heart once you come to believe in Jesus. So if you was to believe in your heart, yeah, that Jesus was God, that He died for your sin, was buried and raised on the third day, if you was to believe that in your heart and confess Jesus with your mouth, Jesus would save you. Okay. And when He saved you, He'd give you the Holy Spirit, and He would reconcile you back to God, and you would have relationship, not religion. So how how is? Turn that camera. On. No, Suraj is trying to drag him away. We're having a very civil conversation. Let him speak. Suraj is trying to drag him away. Look. Suraj, we're having a very civil conversation. Why are you too scared to let him speak to me? Why are you afraid to let him speak? Are you really going to let him drag you away? Are you going to let him? Are you going to let him take you away? No, I said let me walk away. No, are you really going to let him take you away? The man is deceiving you. Remember what I said? I gave you the gospel. I told you how to receive salvation. It is by grace through faith in Jesus Christ. Why are you scared so much? Why are you scared? Why are you scared? Yes, why are you dragging people away? Yes, let's have a conversation. Yeah, of course. But no, you got to answer my questions as well. All right, fine. Come in then. All right, let's have a conversation. Did Jesus claim divinity? Jesus was always God. At what age? Always God. Did he claim divinity at the age of five? Always God. You mean because in the Quran it tells you? Because it, no, because in the Bible it doesn't tell us. He didn't claim divinity. At any age, he was God. Jesus told get 30, just under the age of 30. No, 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 he was always God. He was always God. He was always God. The Bible says in Isaiah 49, Isaiah 49 says he hid me in my mother's I was hidden. Isaiah 42. He was at, he was 42. He was hidden. He was hidden. He was hidden. See, he was hidden. I'm giving you an answer, Siraj. You just don't like it. Isaiah 42 says Jesus was hidden. Yes. Yes, he knew. Yes. 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 Mary knew. Mary knew. Mary knew. Mary knew. Son of God. Mary knew. Mary knew. Therefore, the child, the Holy One, is to be called the Son of God. Mary knew. She rejoiced in God, her Savior. She rejoiced in God, her Savior. She rejoiced rejoiced in God our Savior. She rejoiced in God our Savior. You lying about Mary? No, Mary knew. Mary knew that Jesus was God. Mary knew. Mary knew that Jesus was God. Yes, she knew. Did she yeah. Ever call him God? She knew. She Did knew. She ever call him God? She yes, yeah, she rejoiced. She rejoiced. So John the Baptist, when she, John the Baptist's mother, I'm shouting by the way for my people that watch, for the people that watch, because there's a lot of people here. So. When Mary was told by the angel Gabriel that she was going to have a child, she went to see John the Baptist. And John the Baptist, she went to see Elizabeth, John the Baptist's mother. Let me answer you. Yes. Let me answer you. Let me answer you. Okay. When Jesus, when Mary was told by the angel Gabriel that she was going to have a child, she went to see Elizabeth. Listen. Listen. She went to see Elizabeth. And 
and the child in Elizabeth's womb leapt for joy, leapt. And then Elizabeth said, why is the mother of my Lord come to me? So Mary knew that Jesus was her Lord, that Jesus was her God. She rejoiced. She said, my soul does magnify the Lord God, my Savior. It's Luke. I think you'll find it's in Luke chapter. It's in Luke. I think it's in Luke chapter. Uh, no, I'm not. She knew. Before Jesus started his ministry, Mary called her son God. Yes, Jesus. She, she refers to Jesus as the Lord God. She refers. She, so, have you got a Bible on you? I'm waiting. Take your time. I don't have. Does anyone have a Bible on now? I'm going to show you what verse. Tell me. All right. I think it's in Luke. I think it's what Luke. Number? Maybe chapter three. Chapter three. Yeah. What? Chapter. I don't know. What verse? What? She so, know. No, he's looking for so basically when Jesus, when Mary was told that Jesus was going to be her son I can, and I, I can recite, okay. I can recite no, what chapter? from the Bible what chapter? Okay, yeah. When angel came, yeah. she said No man has ever met me Yes, but she admitted that she Jesus was She is mature enough She is mature enough She knew that Baby can be only through meeting with man. Okay. You know yeah? you know she was she mature asked? enough. No, no that you asked. She, you asked. She, she, she knew. knew. You, I said no, that Jesus, knew. Mary knew. She knew. Mary knew that, that Jesus was she God. cannot yeah. have a baby. That he was the Messiah. Look now, they lying about Jesus. No, I'm not. I really don't have but my Mary Bible. Knew that she so cannot so have a baby can I, can I without a husband. Yes, I can. I'll, I'll help you. All right. So I read Luke chapter um, three. Said. Chapter I mean, three. chapter three. Can you, chapter can you get? Can you look on your phone? Get yeah. me a Bible. Okay, I'll help you. Phone, chapter yeah. three. Yes. I need a Bible. I did bring my Bible with me. Okay, chapter three is here. You show me from here. Right. Go through chapter three. And you show me from there. All right, it's I want to you to show me. No, it's here. The, the whole no, chapter. No, no, it's okay. It's okay. The birth of Jesus. Okay. I want you to show right. me it's where part. Mary called Jesus her own son, God. Right. Before he started his ministry, also after he started his ministry. You said Mary knew that Jesus was God before uh, he started yeah. his ministry. She lied yeah. about Mary. What, what? Yeah. Whatever she uses, I don't mind. Whatever she uses, I don't mind. So basically, the angel Gabriel, and this is chapter one. So the angel Gabriel appears to uh, the uh, said. So the angel Gabriel appears to Mary uh -huh. and said that she's going to have a child. Mary and he was says, great right, in trouble. if you give birth to a son, she'll call him Jesus. He will be great. He will be called the Son of the Most High. The Lord God will son give him the throne of his father, and he will reign. Hold on, I haven't finished. I haven't finished. He's not Mary going says, to be a "How will this be?" I haven't finished. He is going I haven't to finished. Be a son of most the Holy Spirit high. came upon her, and the power of the Most High. She had a child. Yes. Elizabeth, her relative, had a child and was going to have a child too. She says, I am the Lord's servant. She said, May your words be fulfilled. And that's why Mary got ready and hurried to town to Judea, where she entered into Zachariah's home and greeted Elizabeth. When Elizabeth heard Mary's greeting, the baby leapt in her womb. And Elizabeth was filled with the Holy Spirit. And in a loud voice, she exclaimed, Blessed are you, Elizabeth, is John the Baptist's mother. So he says, Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the child you will bear. But why am I so favoured that the mother of my Lord should come to me? As soon as the sound of your... This is Elizabeth telling Mary. Elizabeth is... Elizabeth, so what you... Elizabeth is the auntie. What's she saying? Mary knew. Mary knew. Mary knew. Yes, Mary knew. And Mary said... Look, and Mary said... Look, Mary said... Mary said, my soul glorifies the Lord. My soul glorifies the Lord and my spirit rejoices in God Mary here call Jesus God? Yes, look, my, Mary. look, look, look. What she said? Why should, am I so favoured that the mother of my Lord should the come to me? The mother of my Lord. Mother of my Lord. Look, who's talking? Elizabeth. Who's talking? Let me finish. No, who's talking? Uh, Elizabeth. Elizabeth. Look, Mary is Mary. Mary 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 mother of my Lord okay, has come. Mary my soul Mary glorifies the Lord and my spirit rejoices in God. God, my Who is she calling Lord God? Her, she's, she's talking. talking about she said, "My no, my soul glorifies the Lord. Who's the Lord? Is the Lord is in her womb. Yes. No, is she talking about Jesus? Yes. No. Oh, yes. No, it's God. 
So Elizabeth said that the Lord, oh, yeah. Mary was the mother of her Lord. No, it, you're reading. You're not reading it properly. You're not reading it properly. Look, look. 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 I will read for you. I think you go. Sarah, stop talking over me. I'll teach you. I'll teach you. No, actually, I'm going to teach you. I need to help her. Okay. You know the Bible. You can't. Can you help her? You can't. Is Mary calling her son God? Yes. In this chapter? Yes. Let's read. 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 Let and hurried to a town in the hill of uh, and country of Judea, when Jesus where was she entered Zechariah's home Mary. and greeted Mary. Elizabeth. Visited when Elizabeth heard Mary's greeting, the baby leaped uh, in her womb, baby? and Elizabeth, the watch baby? out, wait, was filled where? Where? with the Holy where Spirit. In a loud voice, where was she exclaimed, exactly. wait. Blessed, come on. wait, right, come on. are you where was, where was among women, and blessed is the child you will bear. But why am I so favored that the mother of my Lord, May, uh, Elizabeth, Mother Elizabeth Mother is talking. Be careful yeah. here. Okay, yeah. Wait, wait, wait. Okay. Uh, okay. Lowercase. Mother here. of my. Okay, wait. Mother of my. Mother of okay. my lord with Mother lowercase. No, 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 no. Is talking. Why is she calling wait, wait, wait. Jesus her lord? Oh, Why is she calling a baby her lord? Wait, wait. Why is she Should calling a baby her lord? Should come to me lord? as soon as the sound yeah. of Why is she calling a baby her lord? Wait, let's go the baby in her room lived for joy. Why is she calling a baby her lord? Full stop. Why is she calling? Baby, hello. She who has you believed that the Lord about the would fulfill His promises and to her. And then what did Elizabeth Mary look, respond? Look, look, look what did Mary respond about the so God? What? God. what did she say? She's referring to Jesus. She's referring to the Lord Let's of see the Mary. Prophecy. The Lord. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What, what did Mary Lord. respond? Look, look here. Let's what was her response? She who has believed. That the Lord would fulfill His promises to her. So, what did see? Mary respond? So, 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 My soul does magnify. It's what did Mary here. respond? Here, Mary's song. Mary said, and Mary said, "My soul glorifies the Lord." Who is not, the Lord? Look, look, the Lord is in her womb. 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 That's what Elizabeth just said. That's what, according to what. He just read. According to what 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 Elizabeth just said. Elizabeth just said. Why is the mother of my Lord come to me? He's ignoring what he's reading. He's ignoring what he's reading. Never called her son. She did call yes, it. Said, Elizabeth said, The Lord is in her womb. And she said, My soul does magnify the Lord. Mary called him her Lord. Yes, she did. Who is the Lord? Who is the Lord in Jesus, her womb? Who is the Lord in her womb? Jesus was born before she conceived Who is Jesus. The Lord in her womb? Mary was okay, God's 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 thankful to her yeah, mighty yeah, yeah. God. You, who, is God is God her her who is the Lord in her womb? Who is the Lord in her womb? Who is the Lord in her womb? He's just talking because he's got his speak his microphone so they can edit it to say whatever they want. In Luke chapter 1, Elizabeth says that the Lord is in her womb. And Mary the then says, My soul does magnify the Lord God, my Savior. Mary calls Elizabeth the baby in her womb. Why is Elizabeth calling the baby in her womb, Lord? Why is he calling? No, no. No, it was not. No, not at all.
not at all. No, no, no. no. There was no. In the first century, going back, there were no vows. There were no vows. Lord, it was a lowercase. It was a lowercase. It was in Psalm 110. Yahweh said to Yahweh, uppercase. Why does Adonai and not Adonai? There were no vows in the first century. So in the Hebrew, it says Adonai, the mother of my. Why does the mother of my Adonai? Come on, we'll, 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 we'll come down. We'll, they don't want the truth. You want to stay blinded. Yes, you're, you're so wait, 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 wait. All of you're them were called the Lord. Yeah, wait, According wait, to Christians. Are you a Christian? Lower case. No, no, he's a Muslim. Are you, are you a Christian? He doesn't like no, hearing no, what anybody no, has no, to no, say. No, are you a Christian? Now she's going to say Mary. No, no he doesn't want to see the truth. You're rejecting the truth. He's rejecting the truth. No, he's so God was given birth. No, no. Jesus Wait, was God in her womb. God. God, God, God was in her womb. God was given. God was in her womb. God was in her womb. Yeah. God was in her womb. Yeah. God was in her womb. yeah. Can God born from a woman? Yes. Do you know what Job yes. says? The Bible. Do you know what Job says? Chapter twenty-five, verse four. Open for me. Is God unclean? Huh? Is God unclean? No. Why? Because he's sinless. But your Quran says that Jesus is sinless. Your Bible. Quran says Jesus is sinless. Any man born of a woman is unclean. So are you saying God is unclean? No. It doesn't say that. But he was born for a virgin. He was born for a virgin. He was born for a virgin. No, he was born for a virgin. Why do you think he came from a virgin? Why did he come from a virgin? So that he didn't inherit our sin nature. Why did he come from a virgin? He came from a virgin because the deity, the deity of Jesus Christ. Why did he come from a virgin? No, no. So Jesus is unclean. Then how can Jesus be God? Because he came from a virgin. He came from a virgin. No human being has been born of a virgin. Just That's an impossibility. Wait, wait. Any Come man born of a woman is on Don't the lie. Job chapter 25. No human has been born for a virgin. Don't lie. Wait, wait. Come on. Wait. No. That's That's a a lie. Oh, oh, he came from a virgin. 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 But you take the word of a man that deceived you, Sarah. Mohammed deceived you. Who is the God of Jesus? Jesus is God. God is I'm going to my God and your God. And in Hebrews chapter Jesus? one, the Father calls Jesus God. No, that's Hebrews Paul said. Hebrews chapter one, that's the Father Paul calls Paul Jesus God. Did Jesus ever right. say the Father no, calls no, me God? No, no, no. Hebrews chapter no, one, yes. Jesus, Jesus, Jesus said, "If you see me, no, you see the speaking? Father." No, who's speaking? In Hebrews chapter one, yes, who's speaking? God is. Uh, God is speaking. God is speaking. Yeah. Or Paul? Hey, God is speaking. Who's, who's God. talking? God is speaking. God is talking. Or yeah, Paul? God. So He says, "Your throne." God says, "Your throne, O God, is forever and ever and ever." Jesus knows nothing about the Bible. I just told you. The, you ask the same questions over and over and over again. Does God have a son? Does God have a son? Yes. But your Quran says that God. You know your Quran answers the questions about the Quran. Answers the questions about the Quran. Answers the questions about the Quran. Your Quran says that God can't have a son. Yes. Because he doesn't have a wife. So according to your Quran, God needs a wife in order to have a child. Jesus is God. Jesus is God the Son. Who is the Father of Jesus? Jesus is God the Son. Who is the Father of Jesus? You know. So you tell me. You tell me. You tell me. You tell me. Who is the Father of Jesus? Who is the Father of Jesus? I'm asking you. Tell me. You tell me. According to you, you tell me. Who tell me? Because Jesus must have a father. Everyone's got a father. Everyone's got a father. And you agree with the virgin birth. So you tell me. Who? Where? Where's what Jesus is? Who's the God of Jesus? Father. Who's his father? Answer. Who is the father of God and Jesus? You tell me. You tell me. Can you answer? Who you tell me? So Jesus is God. You tell me. And the Son is the word of God. You tell me. You tell me. You tell me. You tell me. God has the word of God and God has the Son. You tell me. You believe in the virgin birth. So who's his father? Who is his father? You tell me. Who's his father?
his father? Oh, God has a son. Go, who's his he's father? Not a son to himself, and he's not a father to himself. So who's his father? So, so but who's so his father? God has a son. Yes. God has a father. So yes. yes. God has a father. God the son has a no, father. No, no. God the father has a son. Why is that so, hard for you to okay, understand? The son, that the Godhead, the there's one God, okay, but he's revealed himself to us as Father, Son, the Holy Spirit. There's more than one person. One God. One God. One God. Adam and Eve, two people become one. They become Ichod. They become one. Two people, but they become one. Father, Son, Holy Spirit, three people become one. Does the Father have a God? Does the Father have a God? The Father is God, the Son is God. Does the Father have a God? Yeah, Jesus. So the Father, the God of Jesus, the Father is Jesus. The Father of Jesus is God, Jesus is God. So they're one God, there's not two gods. The Father and the Jesus are one. No, who is the Jesus? The Father is one with Jesus. There's one God. He's not a God of anybody. Does Jesus have a God? The Father is God, yes. But the Jesus is God. Okay, the Father, the God of Jesus is the Father, yes? Yes. And who, okay, wait, wait. Is the Holy Spirit the Father of Jesus? No. But the Holy Spirit is God. The Holy Spirit is the person of the Godhead, yeah. And Jesus is the Son of God. Yeah. But the Holy Spirit is not the Son of God. Yeah. Uh, the Holy Spirit is not the Father of Jesus. Yeah. But the Holy Spirit is God. Yeah. And Jesus is God. Yeah. But he's not a son to himself. Yeah. And he's son of God. Yeah. So I know it's but, no, but you, it's easy. It's actually really easy to understand. And who's your God? One being, one being revealed to us, Father, Son, Holy Spirit. Jesus, the Son of God, second person of the uh, Godhead. Sarah. Huh? Sarah. Sarah. Yeah. Okay, who's your God? Tell me. The Father? Yeah. The Son? Yeah. And the Holy Spirit. Yeah. All these three. One God. One God. Yeah. So out of these three, do you want to hear the who answer? Who is the God of Jesus? Do you want to hear the answer? Who is the God? Out of these three. So there's only one God. No. They God make up together God, one God. And the Son and the so, it's, so it's not that the Father is the God of okay, Jesus. Jesus. While Jesus was here in his is humanity, he humbled himself and submitted himself to the Father. He doesn't want to hear is me. Let me answer you. Stop talking and let me answer you. The, the, uh, do you want me to answer you or not? Do you want an answer? Go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. Look, okay. The Father is God. No, I'm trying to answer him. The Holy Spirit is God. But out of these three, since there are one God, who is the Father and the God of Jesus? Out of these three. They're one God. So the God Jesus, there's not the Father, it's not the God. The God of Jesus and are the Father. No, you're looking at it. No, you're looking at it all wrong. You're looking at it all wrong. They are free, co-equal. Siraj, do you want an answer or not? Who did Jesus worship? Do you want an answer or not? They are three co-equal, co-eternal persons of the Godhead. Father, Son, Holy Spirit. The Father calls Jesus God. Hebrews chapter 1. Yes. And Jesus calls the Father God. The Father has a God. Oh my goodness. No, it doesn't work like that. They are one God. So they're three co-equal, co-eternal persons. But when Jesus was here in his humanity, he referred to the Father as his God because he submitted okay, himself to why the Father. Why did he refer him and the Holy Spirit as his God? Because the Holy Spirit and the Father are one. So when you talk about the Father, you talk so about the, the Holy, Spirit, Holy Spirit. The Father and the God of Jesus. The, no. No. Look here. She said the Holy Spirit is God. Jesus is God. The Father is God. One God. But he doesn't want to listen. He actually does not want to listen. He is going to get the biggest shock of his life when he dies and he meets Jesus. If he doesn't repent before, he's going to get the shock of his life. You're, you've got to step. You've met the Siraj. Either you're interested in God's truth or you're not. It's really easy to understand for those of us whose eyes have been opened. The Godhead is easy for us to understand. Understand. It's complicated for you because you don't want to get it. You don't want to you know see it. You You're so ignorant. Do you would rather believe answers. Muhammad, a paedophile, and a false prophet rather than God's word, God's truth, eyewitnesses that saw Jesus? You would rather believe.
believe the word of a man that came 700 years later that has deceived you. Jesus. What are you talking about? Look here. Is my God, uh, is my God triune God? Allah doesn't even mean God. It means the God. Allah, the God, the God, the God. Who is the God? Who is the God? Because it doesn't mean Aramaic. He said Elah. Elah, Elah. It means God in Aramaic. Allah is a pagan moon god from the first century that married the moon goddess. Allah is a pagan moon god that married the moon goddess. Your God is I won't marry the sun. Uh, the sun. Jesus is the sun. No, I can't have a conversation. So I doesn't stop talking. He doesn't stop talking. He's all right to talk over you because he doesn't want the truth. And that's the reason why I'm doing it. He doesn't want to listen. He doesn't want to listen. Listen again. Does God have a father? God the son does, yeah. Does God have a father? Yes or no? So Jesus is God the son. Does God why is that easy? Oh, so hard. Do you, Do you believe that Jesus is the Messiah? Do you believe Jesus is the Messiah? Because it was prophesied through Daniel, through, through King David, that he, that the Son of God, that the Messiah would be the Son of God. But you don't believe the prophets. You don't believe the prophets. You don't believe the prophets. Believe the prophets. No, the Messiah would be he as the firstborn, the preeminent one. That's I'm not like answering. You don't want to answer. I'm answering that, but you don't, don't want to hear me. You don't want to hear me. I keep saying, God the Son has a father. Yes. And our God has a son. So which one is which one? God the Father has a son. God the Son has a father. But the Holy Spirit has no father and has no God. But Jesus the Son has a God as a, as a father. So but Jesus is God. He's not God to himself and he's not a father to himself, but he's son of God. See? And Jesus, the Father, and the Holy Spirit all are one God. No two gods, no three gods. If they if these three are one God, then the Father should be the Father and the God of Jesus. Jesus, the Son, should also be the Father and the Son to, and the Son to Himself. And the God, no, and the Holy Spirit, should Robert. also be the Father and God, the God of Jesus, the Son. Okay, but, but I can explain it, one, but He doesn't want to hear my answer. No, that's not true. Welcome that's Muslims. not true. Muslims are that's wrong. not Why? true. Because my God is not triune God. If their God is a pagan moon God, the married the sun God is an ad free daughters. The God of Moses is not triune God. Uh, actually, I think you'll find that the God of Israel is right. The God of Jesus is I think one. you'll find no, that it is. So Raj, do you want to hear an answer or not? Do you want to hear an answer or not? Listen, I can answer everything you just said. Do you want to hear it? Do you want to hear it? Jesus yes, of course he did. Okay, why Jesus, Jesus did not claim divinity. He was hidden. Christ. It tells you in Isaiah 42, he was hidden. 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 He took on humanity. He was hidden. So he was hidden. He was hidden. Died without worshiping. He was hidden. Because they looked ahead to the cross, Saraj. They looked ahead to the cross. They looked ahead to the cross. He doesn't stop talking. He doesn't want to stop listening. Now listen, you're just having a dialogue with yourself. You don't want to hear none of the answers. Yes. Who did Jesus worship? Oh my goodness. Saraj, same question, same question. Over and over again. Do you want to hear the answer or not? Do you want to answer hear the answer or not? Who did Jesus worship? Okay. So there's three one God, three co-equal persons of the Godhead. Okay? The Father, Jesus, and the Holy Spirit make up one God. When Jesus was here in his humanity, he submitted himself to the authority of the Father. But he now, in the glory, is co-equal and a co an eternal person with the Father in the Spirit. That's why he prayed, restore to me the glory that I had with you before. So the Father isn't a God of Jesus and Jesus isn't a God of the Father. They are one God on earth, yes. On earth, yes. Yes, in his humanity. While he was in his humanity, read Philippians, it says that Jesus did not submit himself to the authority, to Jesus being Equal with the Father, Does didn't Jesus see that it was something to be wrong.
cross that he's a... Does Jesus have human form in heaven? So Jesus Does has Jesus glorified has, now. Does Jesus has... He has a glorified body. Nature now in no. God, in heaven? No. What, is Jesus a man now? Of course. But he's, he's, he's got his glorified body. Is Jesus a man now? Yes, but he's not a human. It's his spirit. Okay. He's got his glorified body. Yes. Is Jesus a man? Yes. But he's got his glory. Or a man now? He's got his glorified body now. He's in the spirit. So Jesus is a man. Oh yes. My yes. Do you know Paul said what? Paul said, your book, your book. Paul said, Jesus today, yesterday, tomorrow. It's the same. It's the same. Yeah. So what was Jesus yesterday on this earth? So he was a man. A man. Yeah, and I said yes. Yesterday, Jesus is a man. But he has a glorified tomorrow, body he's not in human flesh he's, he's in his glorified so body he's man. in his glorified body he's in his glorified body he's in his glorified body so he's in his glorified body when Jesus was on this earth he was in human flesh like us when he was crucified for our sin when he rose again three days later he was raised back to life in his glorified body wait, wait, wait. do you know Jesus was made lower than the angels do you know that only for a little while for a little while well yeah while he was in human okay, flesh when was that while he was in human flesh human flesh yeah human flesh and then what does it say in John chapter 17 restore wait, wait, to me wait, 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 wait. Are you saying your man God Jesus was made lower than the angels? Why he took on human flesh? So do you agree now there was a time Jesus was lower than the angels? No, that's he's saying when he was in human flesh, so he made himself lower than the angels. Because you flesh. we're human, we're he's not Jesus equal. A man now. He's God in human he's flesh. Jesus a man. So Jesus even on earth was human in God in human flesh. And now he's God in human flesh. No, he's not God in human flesh. He's Wait, God Jesus, no. in his glory. Read it. John chapter he's God 17. He's God a man. He's God a man. John chapter he's 17. He's God a man. Jesus is God a man. He's yeah. God a man. Yeah. Yeah. He's God yeah. a man. Yeah. yeah. Okay, read But not in human flesh. Oh. Not in human flesh. So now Jesus, the human flesh is not God. So thank you. Yes, it is. No, I he know. is God. I, I never said she that. Said Jesus, the human flesh is not God. No, I never said that. Why are you lying? Okay. Why are you lying? Yes. Okay. Was Jesus made lower than the angels? It says in his humanity, in his humanity he humbled himself as he was, as he and he was, made himself flesh, a servant while he was in human flesh. Yes. And now is he not human flesh? He's in glorified body. No. But he's in human flesh. No. So Jesus now is not a man. He's in human is flesh. Jesus a man. Yes, but he's, he's not in human flesh. He's not in human flesh. What his flesh now? died. He was raised back in his glorified body. Now the body is flesh or not flesh? He has a glorified no, body. He's, he's got a he's glorified Jesus body. Flesh, no, not a human flesh. He's human got a glorified flesh. body. Did you hear now? Paul said Jesus today, yesterday. He did not. Same. That's Jesus not talking about man. his body. Jesus said, "I'm a man." He is a Even man. He, he is a man. He's God. He's God. After the he's God. He said, so much. He's God. Going to my he's God. God. And you're God. He's God. Who is the God of Jesus? He was going to his mighty. God. He was going to the Father. He was going to his mighty God. She's saying, "Jesus now is not in human flesh. Is Jesus a man now? He's in a glorified body. Is Jesus, a Jesus man? has a glorified body." Is Jesus Man. Why is that hard for you to understand? He died, rose again, but with a glorified so body. Jesus was made and uh, lower than the angels in human flesh. In human flesh. And now he's not in human flesh. No. Why did it say this? Where did you get from this? John chapter 17. No, Christian who teach you, teaches you. This. John chapter 17. Jesus is not a man. So when Jesus oh comes my goodness. Back, Jesus is a man, but he's uh, not in a human body. So a man is not in a human body. No. He has a glorified body. So I'm a man, I'm not in human flesh. Oh my goodness. Are you in heaven or are you here? I'm a man. When you die, you're, you're going to go to hell if you don't repent. No. But unless but Jesus, when he was raised up, he was given a glorified body. Who was given? Jesus. Who gave him? Oh my goodness. Who gave him? He was raised up. No, okay, he was raised up. Does that make him God? Yes. Even so, according to you, he claimed to be God. According to you, yeah, he's God. According to you, Elijah is God. No. Yes, because he was he was taken to heaven. So Jesus claimed to be God, and when he died, he rose again three days later. Your book says one Kings one two, Jesus was and Elijah was taken to heaven. But you know what? No, sorry, and one two Kings, two Kings thirteen eleven. So he was taken to heaven. Shall I show you? No, it's alright. I, I, I know what it says. I'll show you according to her. Jesus. He 
claimed to be God, proven by his miracle, by his raising from the dead. It proves Jesus was who he says he was because he died and rose again three days later. You, this person doesn't want to hear the truth. He actually really does not want to hear the truth. They've got all their cameras there so they can catch you out and post it on their channels and, and lie, which is what they do. They lie. But it's okay. This is why I shout because you can't hear yourself As thinking this place. Walking, I'm showing you here. Two Kings, two eleven. Elijah went to heaven. According to I, Elijah, when he went, he was taken to heaven. He was not in human flesh because he was taken. So Elijah is God. She said, Jesus "No, that's not what I said." Suraj, when I die and I get raised back to life again, I'm being raised back up with a new body, a spiritual body, a glorified body, one like Jesus. Jesus, but I will not be God in that human body, in that glorified Jesus, body. Jesus is God. I'm not God. Flesh. What? When Jesus was taken to heaven. He was he in human flesh or in his spirit? In his glorified body. In God flesh. has promised. What body? But this, this what, what I'm body? trying to explain. Man's body. For every person that believes in Jesus, God has promised. A glorified Who knows body. Better, you or Paul? God has promised everyone a glorified Paul? body. Who knows better, you or Paul? Oh, I'm saying the same thing as Paul. God, Paul says each has been given a body according to its own kind. Today he's a man. Yes. He has a different body in heaven. He has a heavenly body. Jesus has a heavenly body. Jesus has a heavenly body. Next to his God. Yes. Next to the Father. He's God. Yeah. Yes. There's, there's one God, but there's two persons. He said, I'm God and the Holy I'm Spirit. God God. Yes. So he's, he went to his God. They're two persons of the Godhead. So the Father calls Jesus God, and Jesus the calls Father the Father God. God. The Father yes, God. Jesus. So the, the God of Jesus, the Father is Jesus. Jesus calls the Father God, the and the Father, the Father calls Jesus the God. Father have a God. Yes, Jesus. Jesus calls the Father God. Hebrews no, no. chapter 1. No, 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 no. Hebrews chapter 1. Your throne, O God, is forever and ever and ever. That's what the Father says to the Son. Yes, Jesus. Do you know what God said in your book? In Isaiah chapter 45, verse 5. Do you know what it says? God of the Bible is speaking the Father, according to him. He said, there is no God beside me. One God. One God. One God. But they're one. One God. Yes. That one God. Because it's one God. No, there's one God. One God. One God. Jesus calls the Father God. And the Father calls Jesus God. Who said that? They're three co-equal persons. It's the Father talking to Jesus. Jesus, the Father. No, who's saying that? Father. The no, Father. Who's talking? The Father is talking who to Jesus. Paul wrote Hebrews. Who wrote, Hebrews? Paul. Who wrote Isaiah? Who wrote Isaiah? Listen. Who wrote Isaiah? Isaiah is a prophet. Oh, Paul so, a prophet. Yes. Paul, a Paul was an apostle. Apostle. Yes, By prophet how? and apostle. By how? Because Jesus uh, okay. Paul chose said, him. Paul said God has a God. Jesus, Jesus said, said, according to you, Isaiah said God of the, the Father has does not have that God. Jesus, so Jesus is the God. Jesus okay. is that okay, God. Jesus is look, the look. God in Isaiah. Moses, Jesus I, I is the God in question. Isaiah. Jesus is no, God I in Isaiah. Answer, to answer my question. Jesus is the God of the Old Testament. Right? There's only Moses, one God. Isaiah. All of them, every Jesus single one of them, but Who's you had right? all of them, right? all of them, okay. all of them. Moses said God does not have a God. No, he didn't. Paul, no, Paul he didn't. He said, he said the Lord our God. God, the Lord is one, the Lord is Ikhar. It means the Lord is complex in unity. Who's Moses said that. Moses. Yes. Said and then Adam and Eve being two persons no, become one. Adam and Eve, two persons what become one. Say? Adam and Eve, two persons become one. So when you have... Um, Three persons of the Godhead, they become one. What did they become say? one. What did Jesus say? In Mark chapter 12, verse 29, you know what he said? Same as Moses. He said, O oh Israel, the Lord, our God. It means he God. I can't. That I can't. He was repeating. He was repeating the Shimai. The Lord our God. God. The Lord our God. The Lord is one. So the Lord our God. Our the God. Lord is one. So the God of Jesus is who? The Father. The, Mos the God of Moses is who? The Father. No. Is the God yes. of Jesus but the Holy Jesus. Spirit? Yeah. Is they're the one God, God of Jesus the Holy Spirit? Yeah, they want. Is one the God. God of Jesus the Holy Spirit? Yeah. Is the Holy Spirit the God of Jesus? Yeah. 
What? Yeah, there's one God. There's only one God. The Holy Spirit, the God of Jesus. Yeah, there's one God. There's only one God. They're three co-equal eternal persons. Are you getting what I'm saying? Three co-equal eternal persons. Did you understand my question? They're three co-equal eternal persons. The Holy Spirit, the Father of Jesus. I have explained this again and again. The sun. Yeah, there's one God. There's I'm one God. Three co equal, co eternal persons. When I Jesus says, I'm going to my God, he's talking about the Father and the Holy Spirit. They're one. So you the can't God separate Jesus, them. So They're one God. You cannot separate who did them. Jesus go to? He went to the Father. His Father. Is the Holy Spirit the Father? No. Thank you. But they're a separate person. Is the Holy Spirit Godhead. the Son? No. Is the, uh, is the Son the Holy Spirit? No. No. But they are one. Okay. Uh, they are one. Yeah. Since they are one, how come three of them are not the God of Jesus? Because there's one God and three co equal God, persons of the Godhead. God of Jesus the Son. They are, and I just they said that they were. Also be I the said Father that. Jesus the yeah. Son. The, 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 and you're right. That is true. They are. The Father and Jesus, the Father and the Holy Spirit is the God of Jesus. When Jesus said, I go to my God and your God, he's talking about the Father and the Holy so now Spirit. Jesus is the Son to himself. So, no. Because they're separate persons Jesus of the Godhead and they Jesus have different the relationships. Is the Father the Son they have the Holy Spirit? Three different and now I ask her, who is the God of roles Jesus? in the Godhead? Is Jesus the Son to you as so are they one God? And a God to himself, she said, she so said, when Jesus no. said, I'm going to God, he's Jesus talking Jesus about worship? the Father and the Holy Spirit. And worship? there are three different roles in the pierces of the Godhead. Who did Jesus worship? So he worshipped his father. His father. Did yeah. he, who can only be worshipped? God. God. And Jesus, and Jesus said, worshiped. if you don't honour me, you don't honour the father. If you don't honour me, you don't honour the father. So Jesus is demanding the same worship as the father. I repeat what you said carefully. Yeah? Are you confusing me? You said... No, you're confusing yourself because be you're not worshiped. listening. Look, listen carefully, please. You said only God can be worshipped. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. And when I ask you who did Jesus worship, you said he worshipped the father. If Jesus the Son is God and the Holy Spirit is God, why Jesus the Son did not worship himself, the divine nature of Jesus? Jesus the accepted Spirit, God, the, the same Spirit. worship that God accepts. Jesus accepted the same worship as God accepts. He didn't go around praising himself and patting himself on the back, but everybody worshipped Jesus on earth in the same way they worshipped the Father. Okay. How did he come to know that Jesus When they bowed worship? down to Jesus, okay. he allowed them Listen, to do that. Yeah. So according because to he was God okay. in the flesh. Okay, okay. So according to her logic, if someone bows down for you, that's a worship, an act of worship, according to them. Yeah. Okay. So David, they worship so him. David is God. They worship and Jesus. So now David is God. Do you know why? Because people, a, a lady bowed for David. Is David God then? But he was the king. One Samuel, chapter twenty-five, verse twenty-three. Jesus accepted the same worship David. as God. So according to but you, they worshipped him Jesus, as God. Wait. You said Jesus is God. I ask you why? Because you said he was people bowed down for him. Therefore, be, no. Jesus I said was Jesus. Worshipped. No. I said so Jesus David, accepted the same worship as God. David Jesus was accepted down. the he same accepted, worship as God. David accepted be a lady to bow down for him. David. I said he accepted down the same worship as God. One Samuel chapter twenty-four verse eight, Genesis chapter sixty and twenty-three verse seven. Six to seven, Abraham bowed down. You're not a child anymore. Abraham bowed down for the people who supported his wife and who supported him when he was burying his wife Sarah. David Abraham bowed down. So according to you, bowing down to someone is an act of worship. That's not what I said. Therefore, that's not what I said. David is God. I said Jesus Abraham accepted the same worship as God. Even Abraham accepted. Jesus accepted the same worship as God. People accepted Abraham to bow it down for him. Jesus accepted the same You know what Jesus said? Do you know what Jesus said? The true worshippers. Jesus accepted worship the same worship as God. Is Jesus the Father? Jesus John accepted the same worship as God. John verse 21 to 22. Jesus said, the true worshippers will worship the Father. Is Jesus the Father? In spirit and in truth. No, no, no. Is Jesus the Father? Jesus is God. Is Jesus the Father? No, he's not the Father. Okay, and Jesus said the true worshippers will worship. And he also 
Who said if you don't honour me sure the same way you honour the Father, sure then you don't honour the Father. That so Jesus is telling us to worship Him the same as the you. Father. Wise and He says in John chapter 17, Restore to me the glory that I had with you before the world was. So you give Him a chance to speak and then He doesn't give you a chance to respond. So Why you give people, you don't give anyone a chance to respond. You don't do a charge. Stop talking. Take a deep breath. Let's hear, let me answer you. Okay. Okay. Jesus, okay, he accepted the same worship that God did. He said, if you don't honor me, those are times in the Bible, you have to study it. What did he say? Jesus said, if you don't honor me, you don't honor the Father. Okay. And he does said in John worship? chapter 17, worship? John chapter no, 17, worship? yes, does John chapter worship? 17, yes, yes you don't so? honor me the same way you honor you God. Okay. Okay. You wouldn't honor me okay. the same way you honor okay. God. You but Jesus is telling you, you to honor him the same as you honor God. God. Why would he do that? That's idolatry if he's not God himself. If he's not God, that would be idolatry. Can I ask you a question? Are you willing to hear the okay. answer? To submit your will to your husbands as you would submit to the mighty Jesus God. Jesus is telling is you to honor him husband, the same God. way you honor the Father. If you don't honor way, Jesus, then you don't honor the shall Father. Answer, you don't honor a human shall being answer, the same way you answer, honor God. You don't honor the a human the same way you honor God. Shall I answer? Unless you do. Well, Shall you I do. Answer? You worship Shall Muhammad as God. Answer? Okay, Jesus, your Bible, Ephesians chapter 5, verse 22. Do you know what it says? Wives, submit your wills to your husband. That's nothing to do with what I'm saying now. That's nothing to do with what I'm saying now. That's nothing to do with what I'm saying now. God. So he, now, Jesus my, says, honor me the same way you honor God. No, I ain't stopped talking. He has not taken his breath. I've, I tried to be quiet. I tried to let him speak and he won't let anyone else respond. He's just talking, 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 talking. Do you like the sound of your own voice? Do you like you know the sound of your voice? Husbands are God. Do you know husbands are God? Oh. According to your book. And you know what he's Well, I'm sorry, but if a human being told me to worship them, honor them the same way I honor God, I'd say no. But Jesus said if you don't honor him, then you don't honor the Father. What he says is, if a slaves you don't want to obey hear. your servants, masters, as you would obey Jesus. So if your master says to you, worship me, it's the same as Jesus saying to you, worship me. Yeah. Your, your logic doesn't make sense. Actually it does. It does. Let okay. me explain it. When Jesus comes back in so, Judgment Day, does he have a God? So, Suraj, he's coming does back Jesus in his Father's glory. Does Jesus have a God glory. when he comes back? He's coming in his Father's glory. No, when Jesus comes back. Suraj, do you want to hear the answers? No, I, Let I me answer, answer you. No, tell me. No, I'm gonna go back to what you were just no, saying. No. You just rambled on for five minutes no, about something. My All right. Okay. So the, a human being would not say, honor me the same way you honor God, unless that person was God. And that's what Jesus said. So Jesus would not, Jesus claiming to be God, because you wouldn't honor a human the same way you honor God and Jesus says if you don't honor me then you don't honor the father and yes when Jesus comes back he's coming back in his father's glory they're one God so when you see Jesus you see God the father that's what Jesus said he's the visible image of the invisible God and he's coming back in his father's glory he says in John chapter 17 restore to me the glory I had with you before the world was so Jesus is clear telling us that in eternity he was glorified with the father one God three co-equal persons not so Jesus is God, the Father is God, the Holy Spirit is God, but they are three separate persons. Okay, so I just asked, answered that one. Jesus, your Bible, do you believe the Bible is inspired by God, yes? Yeah. Paul said, wives should submit to their husbands what does that God do as they would submit to their mighty God. So the way you would submit your mighty God, you would also do the same to your husband. So according to your logic, your husband is God. No, and Jesus also says, so obey no. your masters as you would obey Jesus Christ. So that's not if true. Because what he's saying, saying, you would also worship your. Paul is saying, wives submit to your husbands, who submit to Jesus, who submits to the Father. No, no, you never. Yes, that's what he's saying. Shall I show you? What he's saying? No, now you, now you're lying again. No, I'm not. All right, get it up there. I'll show you. 
Jesus said, what did he say? It says it in Corinthians. What did he say Jesus say? Repeat. It says the wives to submit to their husbands. Yes. So the husband is the head of the wife and the wife is uh, the Jesus no, is the no, head. No, no. Well, the one I'm quoting. Oh, okay. No, no. I'm talking about a different Bible verse. The one I'm quoting, do you agree with me? So what does it say? Ephesians chapter 6 verse 5. Well, get it out. Let I me mean have Ephesians look. chapter 5 verse 22. Oh, no, it's talking, it's talking, it's saying wives submit. Just as Christ Jesus loved the church. It's, 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 it's talking about the relationship between Jesus and the church. And saying wives submit to your husband in the same way you would submit to Christ. And he's talking about the relationship that Jesus has to his people. So the way that you would submit to God is the way that wives yeah. should submit to their husbands. Me talking, your Bible is talking. Yeah. I'm sorry, Ephesians I know the verse of five. Read for yeah. me here. Wives, submit to, your own, to yourselves, husbands, as you do to the Lord. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. So now the same thing you would submit to your Lord, you have to submit. Also, you have to submit that way. And if you husband. read it, it's talking so about Jesus' logic, relationship honor me, with the church. Honor the Father does not mean worship. Otherwise, yes, it does. Jesus would not say the true worshippers will worship because, the Father. No. Not the Son, he's not telling the them. He's not. He's saying honor, honor. 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 It's honor not telling them to honor. Worship. He's saying submit. So honor submit. Wives, submit to your husband. Wives, submit to your husband. You will not say to you the true worshippers. The Gospel of John, chapter 4, verse 21, 22, 21 to 22. Jesus said what? The true worshippers. We know what we worship. He included himself and his disciples. Because that he came in human them, flesh. They worship the Father, not the Son, not the Holy Spirit. This verse is telling us anyone, so why do you isolate the disciples Bible of Jesus, the disciples of Jesus are false worshippers. Verses? If you are to claim the, the disciples worship Jesus, worship Jesus. Why do you ignore other you Bible see, now, verses? Jesus said we why worship what we know. He included himself why? and his disciples why do you ignore that Hebrews they all worship It tells the you in the Quran that Jesus is the word of God. And in, in John you chapter, Jesus, the word of the God. it tells you in the Quran that Jesus is the word of God. What? It tells you in the Quran that Jesus is the word of God. No. Yes, it does. No. Yes, no. it does. He says the yes, word it does. From God. It says he's the you word know. of God. No, no, no. Yes, it does. No, the word no. From God. it's not the word from God. It's the word of God. It's the word of God. Jesus is the word from God. It's the word of God. The word here is the glad tidings, the good news, the coming of Jesus. It says it's the word of God. And it tells you in the Quran that the angel in the Torah is God's word, but you don't believe the Bible. You don't believe the Bible. No, the spirit is from. No, it does not. No, it doesn't. No, it's not. It is from God. Ecclesiastes. Oh, my spirit is not from Allah. I can assure you. Says that. Allah is not my God. Is from God. Quran chapter 38, verse 71 to 72. It says that Jesus is the spirit of God. Spirit from. No, spirit of. Spirit from. of. Oh, no, it's of. It's okay. of. It's okay. of. What is this? Which one is? So it's uh, of. This one? Uh, oh. This one? Sorry. Sorry. So it's of. Let me ask you. Let me ask you. I don't, you know, is your spirit I from God? You know nothing yet. Is your spirit from God? It's my spirit from God. God is the one that gives life to all men. Soja, soja. Bagel. Soja, soja. Not Bible ke baare mein, not Quran ke baare mein. Soja. He know nothing about the Bible. He know nothing about the Quran even. No, exactly. And it tells him that Jesus so is now, the Word of God, but he's saying the Word from God. The Word from God. So what does that mean? So Jesus is the Word from God. So Jesus is the Word from God. Because my words come from me. They're my words. So when God speaks and says that Jesus is the Word of God, Jesus is the Word of God according to the Quran, yeah? The word, Jesus you know is, is the, the word, word of God, God according God. to the Quran. You know what does that mean? And what does it tell the you about the angel and the Torah? The words the of God, and the Torah. which so you he twist the Bible verses to Gabriel, and, and you're going to say this thing. Came to Mary and told her about the glad tidings of Jesus. So the coming of Jesus is the word from God, the glad tidings, the good news. Jesus is so the word now, made flesh. Spirit He's the word of God. God. Show me it from tells the Bible. you. Do you know Jesus never claimed in the Bible to be the word of God? Yes, he is. John Where chapter 1. Who's, no. When, Jesus when, said when? in John 8.58. No. What did Jesus wait, say? Wait, wait, in John 8.58. Wait, 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 wait. What Jesus claimed? Tell me. John. In John. 
in John chapter 1 verse 1 who is speaking John is speaking okay is, is Jesus he's speaking he's talking about Jesus okay why do you take okay. the word of a man Jesus. that came 700 no, 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 years wait, wait, later wait, wait, wait. but you ignore Jesus, John who knew Jesus did Jesus claimed he knew Jesus did Jesus claimed that he was oh but the it wasn't of God. Jesus speaking in that passage no do you know what Jesus said? John but said you take the word of Jesus. a man who didn't even write the Quran. Do you know what you Jesus have one copy. You claim to have one copy of the Quran because all the other ones were burned. Because you know they were John afraid said? that what all the you other what things said? would say you know what John would, said? Would, was rubbish. Do you know what John said about Jesus? He said, Jesus uh, himself. He's just going around in circles look, and banging Jesus your head off a brick said, wall. I obeyed the word of God. If Jesus is the word of Jesus God, Jesus said, I obey, obey the, the word of word God? Of God? Yes. Where does he say that? In John chapter 8, verse 55. He, Jesus said, yes. I obey the word of God. Yes. How can right. Jesus be the word of God? He is the word of God. He's now, the word made flesh. The entire Bible Jesus is about him. God. When God's word, so and God now, spoke, John Jesus one, spoke. It goes against Genesis when God spoke, Jesus spoke. In the beginning, there was no word. God created the heaven and earth in the beginning. There was no word. Jesus in the beginning has had no glory. Is that not true? That's not true. That's why he was made lower than the angels. And when he comes back, he's lower than his mighty God. That's no, no, no. He he's coming in his father's his glory. He's coming in okay. his father's glory. Okay. He's someone... coming in his father's okay. glory. And it says, you know what? It tells you in the Quran that the angel in the Torah is God's word. And if you go to Genesis chapter 15, verse 1, it is the word of God that appears to Abraham. And he says to Abraham, you're going to be a father of many nations. And he says, but I don't even have a child. And he says, Lord God, Abraham addressed the word of God as the Lord God. So the word of God in the Torah, and the angel is the um is Jesus is God. So now I'll teach you. No, you won't you teach use me. Genesis God. chapter 15 verse 1 to say to prove that the word of God is God and is God before the flesh. Yeah. So now here we have here after the flesh, Jesus the flesh. The word of God came to John. So who is this word came to John? Because already Jesus the flesh exist, existed. The word of God came you to make John. No sense, yes. What the are you Gospel talking about? Luke, chapter 3 verse 2, it says, after Jesus the flesh, the word of God came to Je Jesus. Jesus is John. God. Yes, wait, Jesus wait, wait, is wait. God. Look, you said Genesis chapter 15 verse 1 is Jesus. So wait, yes. The flesh. And Jesus so claimed to be in heaven and on earth. earth. So when Jesus is on earth, the word of God is the message of God. He's God. He's God. So when the word of God appears to John, it's God appearing. And when the Father, Jesus is on earth, it's God, God, it's God wait, wait, in the wait, Son wait. reconciling okay, the okay, word wait, to wait, himself. Wait. Is the word of Jesus, God, Jesus is God. No, no, it's the word of God, Jesus. Yes. Okay. Jesus, Jesus is God. Answer my question. Look, uh, after the flesh. I feel like I'm going around in circles and I've been having this after debate for 50. One hour. Last one. Yeah. Same old stuff. After the flesh, Jesus, the flesh existed. Before he started his ministry. When he started his ministry. Do you know who came to John? The word of God came to John. And Jesus, the flesh, already existed. Yeah. You said in Genesis, the word of God is Jesus before the yeah. flesh. That's what Christians say, mm. say, yeah? But after the flesh, the word of God came to John. Yeah. Who is this word who came to Jesus? Jesus. John. Because, but already Jesus exists and he's in, the in flesh. heaven at the same time. But the word already he's on earth and he's in heaven. You know, the word already came, first. yeah. He's on, he's in heaven and he's on earth at the same time. So, Jesus, it tells you this in John chapter 3, now, verse uh, 13. She's playing mind games. No, I'm not. Read it. So, John now, chapter 3, so verse now 13. Jesus, I think it's verse 13. So, Jesus, now, how many nature does Jesus have? Just a check. So, Jesus is the word of God, yeah. Now, even, yeah. And the word of God before the flesh existed, yeah. The word of God, Jesus God. is eternal, so yeah. Now, now Christians are exposing themselves. No, I don't think so. Genesis, Jesus existed in heaven and on earth. It tells you John chapter 3, God, verse 13. Jesus Jew existed scholar. on earth ask and in heaven at the scholar, same time. Any Christian scholar. Jesus the existed. The word of God in Genesis is the message of God. Came it is Abraham. Jesus. Same Jesus appeared Jesus many times the in the Old when Testament. He already existed. Yeah, he already the word existed. Of God John came. No one disputes that Jesus existed before he so came into Jesus this earth. The word of God Jesus the existed. And after the flesh, the word of God came to John. Then the word of God is God. It has nothing to do with Jesus. That's not true because, because Jesus, Jesus claims to be in heaven and on earth at 
the same time. Jesus claimed to be enough and in heaven at the same time. John chapter 3, Jesus says the Son of Man is in heaven and on earth at the same time. So God appearing to somebody on earth is Jesus appearing. And when Jesus is here on the earth, it's the Father in the Son reconciling you know the world Jesus back to himself. They're one. They do things together. Whatever the Father does, the Son does. Whatever the Son does, the Father does. They are one and the same. Did you hear what you said? Yes. You said whatever the, the Father God does, the, fa the Son does. Yes. And whatever the Son does, the Father, Father does. does. They're okay, one. They're okay. one. Okay. You, have They're ever, one. Have you ever read so Matthew? when Jesus no, 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 is in heaven, He's on earth at the Can same time. Can you answer time? my question? Because He's God. Can you answer my question? Whatever the Father does, Jesus does. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Why Jesus cannot give anything? Without the will of the Father. <laughs> because they're one. They can't work apart from each other. They work as a Listen unity. Now. You just said. They work in unity. The they does, are two co equal, co eternal persons. Yes. But Jesus said, a lady came to Jesus in the Gospel of Matthew, chapter 20, verse 21 to 23. A lady came to Jesus and said, I want these two of my sons to sit, one of them to sit at the right hand, of, at your right hand at your right side and the other one at your left side in heaven. Do you know what Jesus said? I cannot grant you that. Do you know who can only grant her that? It's already oh, been father. decided. Dave, said, it's already been the decided. Does, also Jesus does. Yes. If Jesus, so Jesus was not in the, okay. Jesus couldn't uh, grant it. It already let been decided by both the if father Jesus and the son. Had, okay, let me ask you. Can you when ask they, Jesus decided to come into this world and the father sent him, it was a joint decision. Can you answer my question? It was a joint decision. If the father... Jesus says, the whatever son. the father does, the son does, okay. vice versa. Look, you it's not hard to watch. Okay, look, look. You said whatever the father does, also the son does. Yeah. But here I give you a verse from your own Bible where Jesus cannot... But it doesn't mean... Anything cannot because it had already been decided the yes of course because they're one so, do not say that they, jesus, but jesus the father does that's what jesus, jesus said. said i cannot judge Be by my own i'm I, here to please i said that whatever father. the father does that jesus, jesus does jesus is not here to please himself exactly whatever the father does jesus the son does is not there to please himself, whatever the father does the son the does my, your john chapter 5 verse 30 jesus said I can do nothing by myself, but I'm here to judge, and my judgment is to please the one who has sent me. Right, so whatever so the Father the does, Jesus cannot Jesus. do anything in and his And the Father life. doesn't even act on his own either. In judgment day, the Father doesn't Jesus act on his own either. In judgment day. Uh, Jesus said that the Father's given all judgment to the Son, and what? whatever the Son does. What? <clears throat> let You'll me again. Jesus said, whatever the Father does, the Son does, and vice versa. Okay. The old judgment, for example, has been given to the Son. Okay. And Jesus says, I, so, but if, whatever the, Jesus does is in accordance to the same thing as the Father. So whenever the Father makes a decision, Jesus makes a decision with him. They're three co-equal eternal persons, same essence and will. So the, Jesus, the Father didn't make a decision without Jesus, and Jesus don't make decisions without the Father. They're in agreement all the time. Are you saying the Father cannot do anything without Jesus. Yes, because they're one God. Show me where it says the Father cannot do anything without Jesus. It but tells you whatever the, the Father does, the Son does, and whatever the Son does, the Father does. It tells you. But the Father can. Of do course anything. not, because Did they're Jesus one say, God. Jesus said what? Everything they're one God. Is, everything is the, possible from God. It's one God. Jesus, they can't act independently of each other because they're one. So now Jesus. They can't act independently because Look, they're one. Okay, now let me give you again. According to our logic. Anyone who judges people is God. No, so God that's not what I said. Jesus God, is going to Christians judge you and you me and everybody else because in this world. Why? Know, because he's finish. God. He's finish. God. Who's the judge? On judgment day, who's going to judge you? God is. is. And yet Jesus says all judgment has been given to him. So he's saying that he is God and he's going to judge you. Whatever the Father does, the Son does. They can't do anything independent of one another because they are me, one God. Me, can you show me where Jesus will judge people in heaven? After this life. Read it, it's in John. Jesus will judge mankind in he this is gonna, life, not he is in gonna, heaven. He is going to. He is going to. He is the judge. The great white throne judgment day. All prophets judged in this life. 
When they stand before the Lamb of God, the disciples will Jesus judge. says in John, Matthew chapter 28, the disciples will judge the sorry, 12 nations 25. of Israelites. The gospel of Matthew 25, 25 on the last day, when the Son of Man judges, he's going to separate the sheep from the goats. Jesus life, says he's going to separate the sheep day. from the goats. Not in this life, you know judgment one, day. Okay. And it even tells you in the Hadith that Jesus is the judge. So on Why? judgment day, Why? 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 on judgment day, day, Jesus says in Matthew 25 that he's going to separate the sheep from the goats. It's not, it's not, it's not he's talking about this day. life. Yes, it is. In yes, this it is. Life, yes. yes. No, in not judgment in day. In heaven. Not in judgment day. In heaven, day. yeah. Never. You know in, heaven. One in heaven. 1 Peter 1 17, it says the Father is the one who will judge my And eyes. Jesus, Don't because they're one, you the can't case. separate. The fa is there Jesus you the can't father? separate. Is Jesus the Father? They're two different persons no, of the Godhead. The it's Jesus really not father? hard to us. No, Jesus two father? persons, is Jesus the two father? different persons of the Godhead, but yet ask? they act, the, pa Jesus they act the, the same, the same will. Is Jesus the Father? It's the same. One God. Is Jesus the Father? One Peter. One Same question. God the that Father tells you that the Father mankind. and Jesus will judge Jesus together. The life, Father and Jesus will judge to together. Please, he's God, mighty God. Moses judged, and uh, Moses judged in the Old really Testament. <laughs> David judged in the Quran. Allah told David to judge mankind. Prophet Muhammad was told to judge mankind. Uh, and Prophet Muhammad was a pedophile that could judge himself. Muhammad so was a pedophile that slept with and married a nine-year-old child. Is pedophile who impregnated his See? own creature. Blasphemy of the Holy the Spirit Holy is the only unforgivable sin, the and, the sin and he's blaspheming the Holy Spirit. The only unforgivable the sin Bible, is blasphemy of the, the Holy, Holy Spirit. Spirit. You know what the Bible says? The blasphemy the of the Holy Spirit. 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 Saraj, so you Satan. just blasphemed Satan. the Holy Spirit. Who, you just blasphemed the Holy Spirit. You have just blasphemed the Holy Spirit. You just blasphemed the Holy Spirit. Jesus said, every other sin will be forgiven. This is why he reads the Bible and his eyes are blind. You have just blasphemed the Holy Spirit. Jesus said, the only unforgivable sin is blasphemy of the Holy Spirit. And he just called the Holy Spirit for the sake of Muhammad, for the sake of a pedophile, he has just blasphemed the Holy Spirit. He has just blasphemed the Holy Spirit. He just blasphemed the Holy Spirit. I pray that the Lord be gracious to you, Siraj, and that he forgive you for your blasphemy. Because you just blasphemed the Holy Spirit. Virgin girls from the war booties. You just blasphemed the Holy Spirit. The war booty. That's the only God unforgivable young, sin. Young virgin girls. According God to your Quran, Allah blew into Mary's Never. private parts. Allah blew in. Oh, okay. That makes it better. So an angel Gabriel so spread Mary. I don't so want to be crude. Spirit blew into Mary's private parts. According to, according no, and the, the, uh, the Holy Spirit overshadowed. The Holy Spirit overshadowed Mary. But according to your Quran, the according to your Quran, the Holy Spirit. No man can be clean. According to his Quran, the Angel Gabriel blew into Mary's private parts. Cannot be justified. Blew into Mary's private parts. You just blaspheme the Holy Spirit. Spirit, Siraj. You just so blaspheme the Holy Spirit. According to your logic, you are God. In Judgment Day, no. Christians will judge no. the angels. No, you're blinded to it. You're blinded. Six, three. You're blinded Jesus to it. Jesus will not judge anyone in Judgment Day. Yeah, he Jesus is. And he's going to judge you. He's going to judge you. You just blaspheme the Holy Spirit. You just blaspheme the Holy Spirit. It's the only other forgivable Goodbye, sin. Anyway. And you did it for the sake of your pedophile prophet. Everyone. You Goodbye. follow a blind guy, you're going to fall into who is the way? Let me ask you. Watch out, this guy. Who is the way? Jesus. Is Jesus the way? Yeah. Are you sure? Yeah. If Jesus is the way, who was the way for the Gentiles before the resurrection of Jesus? It was always Jesus. No. Jesus. It was always Jesus. Look, look. Jesus said. Always Jesus. They looked ahead to the cross. He says. That he, Jesus answer, even listen, says listen, the listen, prophets listen, rejoiced, listen, listen. wanted to I'm see my day. Four questions I'm asking. Abraham saw it and was glad. Jesus they the knew the Messiah was coming. Okay. Jesus, before mm. the resurrection, he was denying the Gentiles. No, he, he didn't. Did. No, he, he didn't. said, "Do not go where Samaritans and Gentiles are." No, Matthew, that's because he was said to preach to the Jews only. 
But he, he, said, he also said I in John, so you got to rightly divide God's word. John says that he was that he has other sheep, and in John chapter ten he says he has other sheep that come from this world. I want you to answer my questions, please. In John, he says he has other sheep. You don't listen, Sarah. You don't let anyone else speak. I have to shout because there's a lot of people here, and you know. Jesus was the way, yes? Yeah. Okay. Do you know before the resurrection, Jesus and, and, and instructed his disciples to not go where Samaritans and Gentiles are, right? And in John, yes. Yes or do you no? want to hear my answer? No, 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 answer. Yeah, no, I'm not answering you yes or no. John Jesus. chapter 10, Jesus said, I have other sheep which are not of this fold, talking about Gentiles, that I will bring in as yes, well. I'm, so I he will. had other sheep. So he will. So he has other sheep. No, so us. he will. Yes. In the past. So in the salvation tense. was for the no. Jew first, then the Gentile. Answer. No, I'm I will answering in you. In the future tense, yes. No. What is it? I will. So it is in the past, or in the present, or in the future tense. So he's saying that I he will. has other sheep that he's going to bring in. I will. Other he sheep that he's going in to the save. Future tense. Up until that point, no one had been okay. saved because no answer? one had received the Holy answer? Spirit. Can you just answer I'm my answering question. you. If Jesus I'm answering is the you. way, why did he ignore the Gentiles? Huh? Why did he ignore the Gentiles? And he never ignored them. He never ignored he them. Never. No. Shall I show you? Shall I show uh, you? He was sent to preach to the you? Jews. Read Matthew chapter 20 and to end. Matthew chapter 10 verse 5 to 6. And John Jesus chapter 10 says, I have other sheep which are not of this world that I'm going to bring in. Listen, listen. No one had been saved until the day of Pentecost. On the day of Pentecost, 3,000 Jews got saved. Nobody up until that point had been saved. Nobody. Listen. Everybody from listen. before the cross looked to look, the cross. Look, 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 Everyone here. after the cross look looks back to the I'm cross. For you and I'm answering Was you. I'm answering you. The Gentiles, his time on earth, or the Jews answer this question. You are? Was Jesus preaching Gentiles and Samaritans or the Jews on his time on it's, earth? Uh, to the Jews only. Thank you. Yeah. So that means Jesus' his time on earth, he ignored the Gentiles then. No. Otherwise he would preach them. Did he preach them? So his did he not earth? did he not cast out a demon from a Samaritan now he said, woman? Jesus is Obviously. Time on earth, did not preach the Gentiles and Samaritans. So what was the woman in chapter uh, means, John chapter so four? No, that means Jesus is oh, not They just don't want to hear it. I'm wasting my time. I'm wasting my time. I'm wasting my time. time. I wasting my again, time. Again, again, uh, another question. If Jesus no, is the let me answer the if first Jesus one. The let me answer that why one. He wants to move on to another question, but he doesn't want to hear the answer in the first question. The let me answer the first question. Miracles. Let me answer the first question, Saraj. Try to stop talking for a minute. Okay, so when Jesus said there are other sheep that I will bring in, up until that point, not even a Jew had been saved. It was only on the day of Pentecost when they're in the upper room that the Holy Spirit came and saved 3,000 Jews. And then short time after that, Peter was sent to preach to the Gentiles, Cornelius. When? And so this when, was when, in the book when? of Acts. After the resurrection? Oh, of course, but no okay. one. Okay, now I'm But asking, not even a Jew was I'm saved prior you know, to the resurrection. the resurrection, yeah, the, the, some people had died, yes? Gentiles and Samaritans, some of them were di died before the resurrection. So who was the way for those who died the period after, <laughs> before, I mean, the resurrection? So no, no one was had been way? saved. Jesus. Jesus was the way for yeah. them? So are you saying the Samaritans and Gentiles mm. who died before yeah. the resurrection, before yeah. they pre were preached they looked by ahead, the yeah. disciples? Yeah. So they died as believe as a disbelief as disbelievers no. are they going to hell or heaven so god are they going to hell or heaven if god chose to save them they're going to heaven no no answer because I am jesus answering was you. not the way for yeah, them he was. that time yes he was so that means jesus was not the way can i explain time. it do you want to answer is jesus the way yes can i answer you so who was the way for gentiles who you don't let you get a word in edgeways and i'm tired of shouting so okay, can i answer you Okay, so when we prior to Jesus coming to this earth and dying on the cross and then rising from the dead three days later, okay, up until that point, nobody had gone into heaven. Jesus says this in John chapter 3. When Jesus died that and rose again on the third day, that was when God would have raised up people like Abraham, Moses, and Jacob and took them onto himself. Hold on. But up until that point, nobody had gone into heaven. It was only on the day of Pentecost that the Holy Spirit came and saved the Jews. 
Jews. And the salvation was for the Jew first and the Gentile. So Jesus was sent to preach only to the Jews, but the message of okay. salvation, it tells you, it tells you in, in Isaiah 49, it tells you in Isaiah 49 that God's message of salvation goes out that Jesus is to be a light to the nations. He is to restore Israel and bring them back to God, but he's also going to be a light for the Gentiles. It tells you that in Isaiah 49. So God's plan for redemption is always for the Jew and the Gentile. I'm telling you, no one was saved prior to Jesus, but anyone that was going in, you're not hearing me. Isaiah 49. He never saved a Jew either. He never saved a Jew either. He preached the message of salvation so they could deliver the message to us. So those people, why only he gave them the message to tell us. He never. He gave the you Jews. You said Jesus denied the Gentiles until the I never. I said he did. No Jesus one got saved. The Gentiles in his time on earth. No the one. Is no. No so, one got saved. Okay, so I want to speak. Nobody go got saved to, to prior to okay, Jesus dying question. from the cross. Are they going to heaven? The people who died before Jesus asked the disciples to be uh, and asked his disciples to preach them. Anyone that was saved, yeah. It, it depends. But, I, I, I can't. Say who got saved before Jesus okay. and who okay. didn't. Jesus but anybody that hold on, Saraj, you're, you're not hearing me. You're not hearing my answer. It's a really simple answer. Okay? Nobody. Jesus preached Saraj. You just you're not bothered. Huh? You're not bothered. Why are you not bothered? Just not really. Saraj. Jesus, it tells you in Isaiah 49 that it, listen, Isaiah 49 hold is on. going to answer my question because so Jesus is Let me answer. the way for Gentiles answer until, answer. according to you, oh until after the resurrection. Okay, so now answer. Why did Jesus use parables? So much. I'll answer this question again. So much. No, I'm not moving on. No, no, I'm not answering another question. No, I'm not. I'm answering you. Why did I'm Jesus answering use you. parables? Mark I'm answering you. So much. So much. So much. Are you incapable of hearing what I have to say? Are you incapable of hearing what I have to say? After are you incapable of hearing what I have to say? The other comforter yeah. will come so and basically you. Jesus, Jesus yeah, the, no one was saved until the day of Pentecost. But the message of salvation was given to the Jews so they could bring it to the whole world. It tells you in Isaiah 49 that Jesus is to restore Israel and be a light to the nations. But he doesn't want to hear. He's just talking, 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 talking. He doesn't want to hear any answers. Why he needed another comforter to come and guide you into all the truth. That means Jesus is not the way. Even yeah, before he is the, the way. French, after the French, he is the way. Uh, his time on you reject earth, him. You he reject not him for your pedophile prophet. You reject him your for your pedophile, pedophile God, prophet. Jesus, and your pedophile Holy See, Spirit, who it. impregnated his own Blasphemy creature. Blaspheming the Holy Spirit. Blaspheming the Holy Spirit. You're going to go to hell, Saraj. You need to repent. Your Bible I don't know if you can. The Holy Spirit. I, I pray you can, because the Holy you're going to hell, Saraj. You're going to hell. You are going to hell you are going to hell you are going to hell you I don't Jesus know if you can. On top of the mountain, in order you, to honestly, the, I, that is that, that your? Are you demon? Do you have a demon? Jesus walked with demons. Do you have a demon? Mark chapter five. Do you have a demon? Do you have a demon? Jesus kicked out. He killed twenty. Do you have a demon? Two thousand pigs. Are you are you manifesting a demon right now? I'm not. I'm not charismatic. Jesus. I'm not charismatic. But I. An unbeliever can have a demon. A believer can't. And he's manifesting. He's manifesting and blaspheming the Holy Spirit. An unbeliever can have a demon. I am so, I, I, you know, and I pray that the Lord be rebuked any demon that's oppressing you or possessing you. You would allow them. You're listening to Satan, Sarah. You're blaspheming the Holy Spirit. You're blaspheming Jesus. The blasphemy of the Holy Spirit is the only unforgivable sin. I'm not charismatic. And believe me, but I know that an unbeliever can have a demon, but a believer, a, a born again Christian cannot have a demon. And that to me was very demonic because he's blaspheming the Holy Spirit. He's saying the most demonic, vile, disgusting things about the Holy Spirit. And the only unforgivable sin is blasphemy of the Holy Spirit. And he it just, to me, it looked like he was manifesting something. And I'm not charismatic. I do not believe that a born again Christian can have a demon, but I obviously do believe that an unbeliever can have a demon. 
demon and that was demonic he didn't want to hear anything I had to say he was completely talking over me and you know when he's talking about Jesus rejecting the Gentiles Jesus says I have other sheep that are not of this fold that I will bring in God's message of salvation has gone out to the whole world for the Jew first then the Gentile it tells you in Isaiah 49 that you know, Jesus is to be a light to the nations, that he's to restore Israel and be a light to the Gentiles. And so the message of redemption was always for the Jew and the Gentile, but he was sent to preach to the Jews and it was the Jews that had been entrusted with the stewardship to bring the message of salvation to us. And that was God's plan, that was God's design. So he never rejected the Gentiles, just like he hasn't rejected the Jewish people now. That was a demonic spirit behind him. So we need to pray for this man because he's blaspheming the Holy Spirit and that is the only unforgivable sin. And the only thing I can pray is, Lord, have mercy on his soul. Anyway, God bless.